How's it going everyone? A different style of video today. It's a bit of a rant about a topic that is in the public eye at the moment. So this is a scandal that came into the eye of the public media on June the 3rd. So the scandal that came into the public eye was Protein World's Slender Blend product and that was missold. It had uh, carbohydrate values that were inputted wrong basically. They said it had 2.2 grams of carbohydrates when in actual fact it had 20 grams of carbohydrates per serving. So a weight loss shake that they were selling was actually not aiding weight loss at all. So I first heard about the scandal initially, I saw it on Facebook and it was on the Sun website. So the Sun have picked this up. So this is what the Sun wrote. This is the headline of the article. Protein fakes. Beach body ad shame. Firm faces 40k fine for slimming shakes that don't measure up. The article starts with weight loss shakes sold by slimming firm Protein World contain up to 17 times more carbs than claimed on the label. The sun can reveal. It's slender blend shakes promoted by celebrities, uh, people from Taui, people that I don't really give a fuck about. Um, it also contained a third less protein than advised as well. It said it's going to be sued for 40k, which isn't that big in the grand scheme of things after the damages. The son of uh, kindly gave us some information. Nutritionists say dieters avoid carbs to shed weight and eat more protein to build muscle. Thanks son. Uh, and they warn that misleading labels could lead to weight gain. So. Fair point, fair point indeed. Lower in protein levels and up in carbs would also make the product cheaper to produce, produce say the experts, which again is kind of true. Um, you know, carb and mass building products are generally cheaper than protein products. So yeah, sun hitting the nail on the head there. Some of you may not know what the sun is, uh, US viewers or you know people around the world. It is a, a tabloid, a newspaper that's in the UK that is fictitiously known for stretching the truth and also making things sound a little bit more scaremongery or a little bit worse than they are. So that's why I'm taking a look into it to see if it is actually true what they're saying and how deep this actually goes. So my first point of call, I went to the Slender Blend website. They said that the products have 21 grams of carbs in per serving. So they weren't lying, they said everything was fine, everything was okay, and that the product wasn't missold. Uh, fair play, pat on the back for them. Or they just had a good marketing team that changed everything around as soon as it came to light and everything's okay now. So then I flicked over and did a Google search for Superdrug, which is a carrier of the product. And I looked at the details that they had and they didn't have any product information, any nutritional information. They just said it was a product that had whey protein in. So they didn't really know what the fuck they were doing there. So I decided to go over to Amazon, which is obviously a lot more reputable, sometimes has all the information that you need. They said it did indeed was marketed as 2.2 grams of carbs per serving. So this sum was right they were lying and then it was changed straight away. While we was out the other day, I went to Superdrug and we went to the section where, you know, Protein World is and I looked at the back of the barrel and it does indeed say as well, 2.2 grams of carbs and that's both on the vanilla and the chocolate flavour, which do vary on the website now as well. So as mentioned earlier, the sun is known for stretching the truth. The sun said on the website that a per 100 grams it's 2.2 carbs. And that's why in their math, it's 17 times more. But actually, the product was always marketed as 2.2 per 40 grams. So again, they have stretched the truth, bit of scaremongering, shoot a bit of terror into us just to make us feel a bit scared about buying supplements now. But it is still bad, it is still an outrage, and I'm upset about it because I am a supplement user. I'm someone that you know, puts my faith and trust into supplement companies. So, now it's time for my opinion on the matter. My opinion is, I think it is disgusting. What do you think, Emily? Disgusting. So, the company is definitely in the wrong here. They have done things that are, you know, meticulous and a bit schemy and made us with egg on our face, basically. I feel sorry for all the customers that actually went out 
and put faith into this company. It's normally, you know, targeted towards quite young and impressionable girls who, you know, shop in the super drug or want to lose weight for summer. It's all about getting this bikini body. So I quite feel sorry for them that they've put faith into something that's not going to actually help them. I find that the company is so wrong that they've actually branded this product to say it's going to help people lose weight and hit their goals but it's actually doing the opposite of that because it has enough carbs in to make you start putting on weight again. Protein World must have knew the figures from the get-go so why are they knowingly lying to their customers? I also want to know are the celebrity endorsements also in on the scam or are their reputations tarnished by this? Was this the company's way of cutting corners, getting richer quick, or just laziness? Did they knowingly take the protein values and replace them for carbs because it is cheaper? Especially when you're mass producing something, those small values at this stage could mean big money in the end. I also want to know, will Protein World be offering compensation to their customers? The hundreds and thousands of people that went out brought this product thinking that this would help them lose weight and it was a tool that they could use but actually in fact it was making them put on weight. Possibly. The story itself shocked me and scared me a little bit because I am a person that puts a lot of trust into supplement companies. Be it a weight loss, a mass gainer or just protein supplements. I want to know if the things that I'm putting in my body are actually up to scratch and is what it says on the tin. It doesn't matter if it's a weight loss, a mass gainer, a whey protein powder, you are putting your trust into this company and you don't expect to be lied to. To summarise, who can we trust now that this has been brought to light? I myself am not going to be swayed and still put my money in and trust into companies that I do trust. I hope that the people that did go out and get this product by Protein World will not be put off in their goals to you know, reach their weight loss and also won't be put off by buying supplements again because supplements do help you and they do aid you to reach your goals you just need to find one that you can trust so I want to thank you all for watching the video I know this is a controversial topic and there may be a lot of opinions to this topic and I want to hear your opinion I want to know what you think on the story if I'm wrong and if you're right or the other way around I just want to know what your opinion is Leave a comment or even better, make a video and tag me in it. I'm going to watch them all and reply to all comments on this video. So thanks for listening to me rant on about this subject for once. I look forward to hearing your replies and comments. And I'll see you in the next one, guys.